Hello, it's me Philip, and today's video is about the Sega Mega Drive. I'm only calling it stupid because I don't know what it's for. I don't know, I didn't design it. I've picked this one up, and I'll bring the listing up here. So I paid £10 plus £2.94 postage, and the seller states, parts only, the power light comes on, but unfortunately no picture. This doesn't include any cables, games or controllers. It's just console only. And this is it. It's in pretty good condition for its age. Before I get into this, I'll show you what else I've bought, which hasn't made it to its own video. I picked up this Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with case, parts, spares only. It was £6 plus £2.70 postage. The seller didn't say what was wrong with it, but it came with a Geek Pie case with cooling fan and heatsink. I thought that would be a nice little project for £8.70. See if I can get that working. It's quite a nice little gadget. And all I did. I put in a new SD card with the operating system on and it booted up fine. So I got in touch with the seller and he said he couldn't get it to boot up. So he's either got a faulty SD card or his power supply hasn't got enough amps um, to boot it up. So £8.70 and that's a nice working Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. So let's see what's wrong with this. The first thing I noticed was the reset button is, it's jammed. This is another one I've got and it comes up straight away. So I'm wondering if this is just stuck in the reset. So that's one thing to look for. So I think I'll just open it up and test it out of the case rather than plug it in and test it now. It's a bit grimy. So if it's just a faulty reset switch, it's going to be a short video. This is affecting me camera, so I'm going to take this top piece off. I think I probably need to set the manual exposure on the camera. Right, that's better. I don't remember seeing all these. Why has before been a while since I've... Uh oh had some kind of mod. What's this on here? Someone's pulled a pin up. It's a little tiny resistor. That's strange. Never seen that before. Right, so with this out, I'm going to try and plug it in now. And if it works, it's just a dirty switch. It's really grotty. I'm going to plug a controller in because that's how confident I am. That's not the right one, Philip. Mega Drive 2. I keep getting confused between the Mega Drive, the Master System. I think the Master System is the Mega Drive 1. And then this one is the Mega Drive 2. It's obviously not. So I'm, going to, I'm plugging it into my retro scaler, which doesn't work very well in the Mega Drive. So I'll turn that on. Looks like I'm on S Video. CVBS. I think that's the right one. Um, game. I've got a game somewhere. There it is. Power. Mega Drive 1, centre negative, I don't know how much it is, is it 9 volts? It says, it says 10 volts DC on the back of here. Right, 10 volts, switch on, I'm drawing 0.8 of an amp, so it's doing something. Oh, I've obviously got no LED to check, so we'll bring up that Elgato. Oh no, it's 
bring on work and so the trouble with that is it makes for a short video we've got audio yeah I'll just mute the audio <sighs> check to see if this controller works yes right so let him sit up there for a bit so either the seller has got a faulty video cable or it was just this reset button being stuck down what revision board is it m5 pal what am i going to do now i can clean up that volume switch i'll switch off that power supply so i'm just using some WD-40 contact cleaner and I'm going to spray on some switch cleaning and lubricant and that'll just prolong the life of that pop a bit in there pop a bit of contact cleaner in there It is working, but may as well do it while I'm here. I'm not sure I want to go the whole hog and pull everything out of this just to clean underneath there. It's had some something spilt in the back of there. I think I'm just going to clean the lid up because that looks quite clean. I think I'll do that. I think I'll just clean up. I think I'll just clean up this lid. I'm just putting it back together. I don't know which way these go. So I've just used my multimeter and the long pin, the positive side, and the short pin's the negative side. So I'm assuming the red side's positive and the white side's negative. And that's me multimeter in diode mode. And that's to say me putting it on the wrong way around and having to take it back off again later. This is going to be a pain. Not the best design, is it? Now, one of these screws is slightly longer. I don't know which one it is. But I don't know if this has been opened before and they've already been mixed up. That doesn't feel right. Drop this. There it is, that's came out again. Not sure what the purpose of that is. I've put the slightly longer screw in that one. I've tried it in that one, but it wouldn't tighten up. So I've taken it out and I've put it in that one, and it's gone. It's gone all the way in. Who knows? I don't know. I didn't design it. Right, I've got to make sure the volume and the power switch is in the right orientation. That stupid power selector power selector, power thing, power port you'd think that would be screwed down right, we'll switch it on before we put the screws back in it's cleaned up ok there's a shame there's a, a mark here I wonder if I can get that off I've got some of this worth a shot it's still there if you catch the light but it has made a big improvement I suppose it's up to yourself how much work you want to put into the case of a Sega Mega Drive they're not exactly uncommon yep happy with that right let's plug this back in and test it before we do the screws up I did watch quite a good documentary on Sega USA 
I think the documentary was about Sega USA and how it conquered the, the American market. Capture card, no signal, switch on. <laughs> I haven't got a game in. I haven't got a game in, man. Idiot. Right, switch on. Straight away. Perfect. Sega. I'm going to test the volume. I've noticed this is a volume just for the headphones. I've got this little speaker. So I'll plug that in. Switch on. Yeah. That gets a bit loud. The volume's working. The volume thing. It's a bit sticky, but it's not stuck down properly yet. Right, off. So the headphone jack works and the volume control for it works. Uh, off. I bet you that was the most interesting Mega Drive fix you've seen in a long time. Um. <sighs> What's falling out? Is it that stupid thing? It is. That stupid thing. I'm only calling it stupid because I don't know what it's for. If it's closed like that, how did it fall out? falling out again. This is getting a bit embarrassing. Putting it back together is harder than fixing it. That goes in there. Or should it have a screw in? It doesn't look like it's threaded. What's it for? Somebody tell us what this is for. So obviously lines up here. So there is something to stop it from falling out. If it's going to cause us problems, I'm just going to leave it out. Ah. Oh. Right, I'm leaving it out. Where's it gone? Great, I've lost it. But I want to find it to make sure it's not in inside the console. Right, I found it. And I've also found what looks like the bottom cap of a Sony PlayStation 2 fat. I'm determined to get it in. Just out of stubbornness. I'm going to put all of these screws in before I do anything else. Right, that's better. Now I'm a, I'm a screw missing. There it is. Okay. Game. Switch on. No signal. What's happened? <laughs> I don't believe it. No signal. Am I on the wrong... Am I on the wrong thing here? I'll go back to CVBS, switch off, switch back on. I don't believe it. I'm drone 0.8 of an amp, but it's not outputting a signal. I'll turn this off and turn it back on. No signal. After all of that, well, that's just got a bit more interesting. Switch off power. 
Switch back on. Is it just the game? Let's try that. It's drawn point eight. Deactivate and activate that. No signal. I'm a bit confused now. Let's use this and see if it's putting out any audio. Yeah. So it's running the game. We we'll have a problem after all. Of course, it's waited until I've put the thing back together. I'm just wondering if it's a dirty contact in here. The connector doesn't feel loose. Oh, look what's happened. I've got contact cleaner splashes over my nice blooming new console. So it's playing the game, but nothing. Well, it can't be something serious. Perhaps a loose pin. Trouble is, I'm going to take the blooming thing apart again. As you can see, I've opened this up and taken the board out. So we'll flip this over and we'll have a look at the pins on the back of here. And they look quite good. Can I see anything wrong with them? Can I see anything wrong with that? So let's pop this in. So, video out. That one. It's going through okay. Can I see where it goes to? Because this heat sinks in the blooming way. Just spotted this, uh, perhaps a little bit of rework done on here. That looks okay. Someone's been in here before. This isn't factory, I don't think. Yeah, that's not factory, is it? Right, let's plug this back in. I think I'm going to have to find a schematic for it. So the game is running, but we've got no video out. But we did have video out before. I'm unsure which one of these chips is responsible for it. Off the top of my head, I don't know. Could be a capacitor. Couldn't be this. I think I should test this on a different TV. I've got a little TV behind us. Two minutes. Well, that's brilliant. Look at that. It is working. I've took it all apart for nothing. What a complete waste of time. No signal. Deactivate. Activate. Still no signal. HDMI is plugged in. <laughs> There it is there. So it's, oh hang on, so it's got to be on, so I'm on CVBS, composite video, BS, what does BS mean? Two times, smoothing mode, two times, and it's on. So I'm going back to the original idea that the reset button was sticky. Now I've got to put this thing back together again. Right, a slight detour there. I'm starting to go off this little retro scaler, especially when you're trying to fault find something. It just adds an extra layer of things to go wrong. Much better to plug your video out into a, a known working TV. Right, switch on, we're on, lights on, no signal, because I've switched this off, and there we go. Right, back to where we started, more or less. So, I've cleaned this up, with some furniture polish. And we're back to our working console, so that's lovely. That's a bit of a boring fix. I mentioned a documentary earlier. Where's that? So that's it, console wars. Very, very interesting. If you like your old retro tech, well worth a watch. So I think that's it for today's video. Not much happening. I've got a, a working pie that was no fault with it. And I think this one, I'm gonna go for the, the reset button. Being a bit sticky. Nothing too difficult for a Friday morning. So that's it for today. If you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've liked and subscribed, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.